Hey everyone, this is Stephanie with We Magazine, and I am here today at the Chris Tucker Foundation Golf Tournament. Once again, another year of Chris post-COVID jumping out and doing it for the youth, right? And so I'm so excited to see all of the people that are here today, Matumbo, Chris Weber, Vince Carter, Otis Nixon, so many, too many to name, but stay tuned because we got more for you. Hi, this is Stephanie with We Magazine and Foxhole, and I am here with Tim Reed, yeah. who is out here today at the Christopher Tucker Golf Tournament Foundation. How do you feel today? I'm fine. I feel good. I'm enjoy looking forward to enjoying myself and hitting them long. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So with the youth, of course, this is to benefit the youth. What do you think post-COVID um, is one of the main things we need to do to impact the youth? Well, it's, uh, we got our work cut out for us, and that's why I come every year and work with Chris. Uh, our young people really need uh, <laughs> some work. We really need to pay more attention to them. You know, they are our future. Absolutely. And uh, I think we've ignored them long enough. We've got to get in there and uh, pull them aside and, and really let them understand what's ahead for them and what they have to do. I mean, their commitment is more than just their teen years. Uh, you know, they, life is a little longer than they think it's going to be. I know when I was a teenager, I didn't think I was going to live past 2021. And yeah. here I am at 70, so. Yeah, looking good, by the way. <laughs> well, thank, you. thank you. And who are you looking forward to going up against today? Oh, everybody. I just <laughs> want to get out there. The one thing about golf, that, that, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to make the PGA Tour, so I just want to have fun. It's a, it's a wonderful game to get out and talk and, and enjoy yourself and laugh and uh, have a good time. That's what I love about the game. Absolutely. Where well, you've heard it, folks, we're here with Tim Reed, and we're going to watch him have his fun today. Signing off, this is Stephanie Davis. Hi, this is Stephanie with We Magazine, and we are here with Brian Do Jordan here today. Mr. Jordan, so tell us, what are you looking forward to today? You know what, just to play golf, have fun, and support Chris Tucker. Uh, this guy's not just a great actor, but he's a great person for the community. And uh, His heart is huge. He's always out helping, and uh, as long as... Uh, Chris Tucker's out there. We're always going to support. Awesome. Now, who are you looking forward to playing against today? Everybody. You know, when celebrities and athletes get together, it's always a competition. Everybody want to be number one. So I'm going to go out there and try to play my best golf. Awesome, awesome. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Brian Jordan, and this is Stephanie Davis with We Magazine. Thank you so much. Right, Hi, this is Stephanie, and we are here with the mailman, a.k.a. Melvin Breeden. This is my newfound friend today. Yes, Melvin, yes. tell us, what brought you here uh, to support the foundation today? Really, it's an honor. Um, I was invited uh, to help um, support Chris based on, you know, his foundation needs and stuff like that. So uh, my brother asked me to come out and uh, support Chris. And I've been talking to Chris, and we have a couple projects in order, so I felt it, you know, it made sense to come out and support him and uh, wish the brother well and the foundation and anything I can do, I'm here to help. Awesome, awesome. Now, who are you looking to play against today? Oh, man, you know who I want to play against? <laughs> You know who I'm looking for? Uh, 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 I'm looking for Holyfield. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. That's who I'm playing against today, okay? Awesome, awesome. No, it's awesome. a blessing. I thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Again, we're here with the mailman. This is Stephanie Davis signing off with We Magazine. All right. Thank you so much. This is Stephanie with We Magazine, and I am here with the Hall of Famer, Mr. Allen. <laughs> Listen, this is amazing. It's an honor well, to even be you, in your Stephanie. presence. So tell us, uh, what are you looking forward to today? Having a good time and, uh, and help raising some money. That's uh, what it's all about. Uh, you know, my, my approach is that the forces that I'm playing with, you know, I want to entertain them to the point that they walk up to Chris after the tournament and said, I'll see you next year. As opposed to Chris asking him, how did the day go? So if I've done a good job, if I do a good job, rather, it will that will happen. And that's what it's all about, you know, getting guys to continue to come back, uh, raise money to help others, and, and obviously have a good time in the process. Awesome. Well, we have heard it from Marcus Allen, our Hall of Famer Raiders. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. But I hope everybody, I got a lot of people out here with some good games. So it's going to be a good time today. So we'll, we'll see what they do. We'll see when the scores come back in.
we'll see what happens. Now you took a year off from uh, having the tournament. What does this year mean to you? Well, it means a lot because we know we had to come back strong, you know, to raise more money for more kids and, and people in need because uh, we was out a whole year. So uh, we're excited about it, and then we do, we're doing really well uh, with, with, with raising money and the tournament. Everybody, uh, you know, great response. Everybody's showed up, and uh, yeah, so we, we're excited about this year. Chris, this has been a tough year, past 18 months. We're still in a pandemic. We've got Afghanistan blowing up. We've got social justice issues. Today than any other time, maybe. You know, the little things uh, that, that is, are big things. You know, like uh, Maya Angelou said, oh no, it was uh, Mother Teresa who said, you know, one uh, uh, drop of rain in an ocean creates an ocean. So, you know, we all got to do our part and continue to keep uh, having hope and faith and helping one another. If every one person helps one other person, that, that will help everybody in the world. So, everybody just got to keep going and, and keep doing our part. Well, I mean, I get so much joy out of it, and uh, you know, my mom's told me to start this foundation because I was uh, traveling around the world with other people, uh, and uh, you know, seeing a lot of things around the world that I was uh, uh, concerned about. And my mom said, "Why don't you start your own foundation? And you can get some stuff done too." And we started it, I don't know how many years ago, 10 years ago. And, uh, man, I get so much joy out of uh, uh, and so much fun begging my rich friends for money. So I, I love it. <laughs> they were like, would you come on, man, stop it. <laughs> so. and last question, anybody? I got one. Um, so you started your comedy career at 19. Um, how important is it for you to make sure that kids take an education and move for their dreams? Uh, yeah, I started pretty early. I always thank God for giving me, uh, showing me uh, my passions early in my in my life, and and uh, you know in high school and uh, you know going to uh, hosting talent show, my, my talent show at my school and stuff like that. And I already knew, you know, at an early age what I was going to do. So I planned er, uh, early, and and that passion and dreaming, man, uh, it was nothing like a dream because nobody can stop your dream. You know, all you got to do is keep moving forward, and, and then it's going to happen. You know, God will meet you halfway if you if you're moving. So yeah, I think it's important important for kids to dream, to know what they want to do, and have passions. It don't have to be one, it could be a lot of them, and then, and, and, and then have that uh, motivation to, to uh, the discipline to, to work hard, because and, and love working hard, because that right there is going to, like I said, all you got to do is keep moving, and keep working hard, then the doors open. Anything we didn't ask you? Uh, I don't think so. Well, uh, no. Play ball. Let's do it. All right. Oh, this is golf. We got to say something else. This is not baseball. All right. Tim, what's up? So this is Stephanie. Today we are here at the Chris Tucker Foundation Golf Tournament, and we're here with Mr. Bryson. Mr. Bryson, what are you looking forward to today? Um, shutting some mouths out there. Golfers are big talkers. So I want to shut some of that talk down. Oh, wow. There's going to be some competition out there today. Awesome, awesome. I'm competitive. Oh, awesome, awesome. Listen, why do you think it's important for things like this to happen to give back to the youth? Well, people always, there's all these cliches about, you know, the children in our future and all that kind of stuff. They're really everything at this particular point, you know. The, leave the world, leaving the world a better place than you found it should be everybody's on everybody's mind. And if you look at it from an existential, an existentialist point of view, we've already had the, we exist, that's the aesthetic, then that's the ethical, and then you got to get to the spiritual, and that's your good works, your moral compass, where does that lead you? So at the end of the day, and the end of, of life itself, what did you do? Amazing words. Yeah, so if you didn't do anything, you don't have anything to report. You don't have anything to declare. Right. Right. Come on now. You talking if, good today. If you don't have anything to declare at the end of your time, then you've wasted a lot of life. So Chris doesn't want to do that. He, he recognizes that. Chris doesn't want to do that. Matambos, the Matambos and Chris's don't want to do that. They want to leave the world a better place than they found it, and we're all charged to do it. So when they when they call, I rally. You rally. And compete. And compete. <laughs> and shut some mouths, yes. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Stephanie Davis with Green Magazine, and this is Mr. Prebo Bison. Thank you so much for taking the time the honor out. Was mine. Absolutely. Thank you. Stephanie, and I'm here.
Look, tell everybody what's your name. My name is Joseph Bush. Joseph Bush. Uh, Look, Joseph has been doing his thing today yeah. out here getting the uh, golfers ready to hit the field or to, to hit the turf, right? Yes, so how, how uh, exciting is it for you to participate in the foundation festivities today? It's very, you know, very exciting, man. I get a rush from this, man. It feels amazing. All the people out here, you know, it feels great. You know what I'm saying? You get to connect with people, feel good. My boy Chris Tucker, shout out to him. That's actually my dog. Uh, Kimbe Matumbo, everybody, man. It feel good. You know, um, soon I'm going to be here. I'm an actor, you know what I'm saying? I do acting, so and, uh, I'm up there next. But in the meantime, feel good. Good, like, good, like, good. Awesome, awesome. And for the, the purpose that we're here today, uh, and for someone that is a youth himself, how important do you think it is for activities and events like this to happen? Uh, it's very important because I think, you know, we should all take a time out to really connect with each other, especially all the people that, you know, we're friends and then everybody distancing now and everybody so far apart because of COVID. I think now would be a good time to, you know, come together and just have fun, you know. I think that's... Awesome, so. awesome. Well, thank you again for your time. We look forward to chatting with you later, okay?